There are several types of bar graphs depending on the type of data you want to present and the story you want to tell. The three most common ones include a simple bar chart, multiple bar chart, and component bar charts. In a simple bar chart, the bars represent the whole of the magnitude of a single categorical variable. The height of each bar indicates the value of the category represented. So in this example, we see that we have one categorical variable, which is symptom, and it has three categories. And each category is represented by a bar whose height indicates its frequency. The multiple bar chart, unlike the simple bar chart, is used for comparing data of two categorical variables. The categories of the first variable form the main categories which are separate groups of bars. Then the categories of the second variable, i.e. the subcategories, are represented by individual bars. The distinguishing feature for this type of bar graph is that we see distinct groups of bars. Each category of the first variable is represented by multiple bars, hence the name multiple bar chart. Each bar within the main category represents the subcategory. In this example, we can see that we have two categorical variables symptom and gender. Symptom is the first variable with three main categories, fever, headache, and cough. Each main category is a distinct group made up of multiple bars. In each group that represents a category of the first variable, there are two bars each representing subcategories of the second variable, gender. So in this group three, for example, the main category is cough and the subcategories are male and female. Notice that the subcategories are usually given different colors within a group and the same colors between the groups. This is to aid the comparison of subgroups between groups. So for example, we can compare the data for all the males looking at only the yellow bars. Awesome. And finally, we come to the component bar charts. This is also used to represent two categorical variables. But here, the bars representing the categories of the first variable are subdivided into components representing the categories of the second variable, i.e. the subcategories. There are two types of component bar charts. The first is called the actual component bar chart. And then the second is the percentage component bar chart. In the actual component bar chart, the actual frequency or the value of the main category represents the overall height of each bar. And the actual value or frequency of the subcategories represent the height of each component. And that's why it's called actual. So in this example, if there were seven individuals with fever, four males and three females, then the height of the whole bar will be a frequency of seven, that's seven units, right? And the height of the male part, that's the yellow part, will be four units. And out of the female, the red part will be three units. So you see the actual frequencies are being used here. This type of component bar chart is also called stacked bar chart because you can see that one component is stacked on the other. On the other hand, in the percentage component bar charts, the length of the individual components represent the percentage of each component from the overall total of each category. Notice that all the bars are of the same length and they are all 100%. So in this example, with the same data as the previous example, we know that there were seven individuals with fever, right? And for the percent bar chart, this seven is converted to 100%. And if seven is 100%, and we know three out of seven were females, what percentage is this going to be? So this will be three divided by seven times 100, and that will be for the 3%. And for the males that are four out of seven individuals with fever, this will approximately be 57%. So you see here, the actual values are not represented, but the percentage of the total for each category. The size of each component is the proportion of the total. This type of component bar chart is also called a 100% stacked bar chart because you can see all the components are stacked up to 100%. Awesome. Now you know the different types of bar charts and the kinds of data to use for each type. Now it's your turn. Show me what you can do. What kind of bar graphs will you use to represent this data? One, the level of malnutrition. This is categorized as nourished, mild, moderate, and severe in a sample of 100 children in a village in Zaria. Two, the level of malnutrition in a sample of 100 children in a village in Zaria, but this time categorized by sex, male and female. And three, the sex distribution of a sample of 100 children in a village in Zaria, indicating their proportion with the different levels of malnutrition. Please put your answers in the comment section below and do not ignore. Now, if you've gained value with this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more contents like this. And if you want to learn more about important parts of bar charts, then check out this video here. And for histograms, 
check out this other video right here. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.